Okay, now that we have captured all the WI5 item within this table, the next uh, the next task that we need to do is to oops, uh, let's look for a WI5 item um, here. So we need to navigate to this page, to the item page, and then capture the this information: client ID, client name, and client country. And as you can notice on the URL, um, here you can notice that there's a pattern in the URL. So we just need to get the sample URL. Uh, copy that and then let's create a new sub procedure that will um, extract the client information and then let's paste that sample URL in here so we just need a URL variable or a system1 URL now let's use URL instead it should be a string and then Let's assign the value of that URL to this default uh, URL string. Copy that and paste that here. And then we need to also have a variable that will hold the WID or yeah, it should be a string. So Yeah, I think we can we no longer need to have a variable for that. So the next step is to declare our worksheet and let's use the same name Maya stage again set it to this workbook that worksheet WI5 copy that name in here and then we need to look through this worksheet so to through the uh, worksheet work item and then we need to declare a as integer because we're using option explicit we cannot use it without declaring it first so we will be looping on this column which is column a so my sh the range a and rows that count the and excel up the row and next a and then here i think we need to we need to have a a variable that will represent the the navigate url so let's name it navigate url and it should be a string again and then here let's assign the value of that variable equals to our url concatenated by the value of range a and a and let's try to the de to test this uh, code first so let me clear the immediate window and oops i forgot to to indicate what to print so here you can see that this is the first item that we have and we were able to build the navigate url correctly so later we will be using this url to navigate to the client information page right so here let's say i that navigate to the navigate url and then Again, let's put some delay to ensure that the page is loaded after we do the next uh, action or after we add the next line of code. And let's add another do until here equals to four colon do events colon loop. Okay, so once we navigate to each client information page. We need to extract, of course, the client information. So 
here we need the client ID name and country but let's declare a variable that will represent those two, uh, those three items so we have client ID name and then here client country so they should all be on a string variable type and using using inspect element let me let me uh, okay let me let me just check the 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 html code of that uh, element so here right click and inspect we can see here the all right it might be could be difficult or it may add it may require us to add some code in here so it's uh it depends on you on how you will uh string manipulate this type of scenario so you can see that we don't have a a unique target or any uh any attribute like id that we can use to easily capture each of this information and you can see that they are all just under one paragraph element so i think before we do the string manipulation we need to capture that element first the paragraph element so to know if there's only one paragraph here or how many or what's the index of this paragraph so to check that now we, we cannot easily see that in here so I think we need to to add the break statement or add the break uh, Yeah, to for for a for a faster test, let's just call here the the system one login procedure, and then let's add a break in here so we can debug or we we can check our our HTML document element. Let me close this and then. Let's try to run it. Alright, so we are now on this page and here I want to print the number of uh, paragraph L. I want to know how many paragraph element do we have on this page. So can do that by uh, doing get elements by tag name p that length oh we have four in here so so what's the index of our client information and okay so For this type of scenario, we need to look through uh, all the paragraph, but we need to declare it first. So, dim p as um, HTML para element. Is this the paragraph? Uh, yeah, I think so. So, for each p in our uh, IE doc, that document, the get elements by tag name um, p. So, Let's try to print the inner text of each paragraph. Okay, so starting from index 0, let's check. Let's maybe uh, clear this immediate window first. And okay, it's the first paragraph in this page. So we can easily control that. Let me, let me go back in here. Yeah, it will require me to restore the program. 
so let's use this code instead and here you can oops what's this Hmm. Yeah, I forgot the inner text. I'm sorry. So use that inner text. Make sure to use that. So now we need to we need to declare a variable that will hold the client information that contains client ID, name, and country. So Let me put that in here and let me remove these codes. And yeah, we'll put that in here. So, oops, this value should be equal to the client information variable. And then now we need to apply a, a string manipulation so we can get the, the specific uh, word for the client ID name and country. So let me stop in here for now and test our program. So here you can try to check out there's no value yet because we the code is just in here. So F8 let's check. This is our client information. But again we need to dissect.